gather round everyone and hear again the tale of Drakfu. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back as we continue our questing in Negrand. Uh, let's go ahead and first off start with the command table. So, actually, before we do that, last time we took care of the shadows within Oshugun and we restored balance to the elements of Draenor, at least somewhat, because unfortunately Gordog uh, has since been lost, but a new Earth Elemental will be found. And now we actually are going to take care of the other problems out at Oshugun, where the Warsong clan is researching the power of the Void. But first, let's go ahead and hit the command table and see what we've got as rewards. Heart of the Saber Maw. Boom! There we go, our third 100 in Penny Clobber Bottom. There we are. Naughty by nature. There's some more experience for Kala and some garrison resources. Raiders of the Lost Shard. Okay, oh. There we go. We have our fourth 100, Kaz the Shrieker. And let's see, Mother of All Kaliri. All right, we got level ups for Olin and Bluke, but no 100s yet. Oh, almost for Benjamin. And then finally, the needs of the many. Not quite a level up for Olna. That's all right. <clears throat> okay, so now we're actually starting to qualify for some stuff, and now we have some 615 gear, so that's already going to be a step up from what we have. Um, the other thing that I also want to take care of is, uh, while I was get going through some salvage today, I actually did get an armor enhancement, so we'll go ahead and show this off to you guys. Uh, for followers, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with who was leveled up first. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Uh, to Nani, and boom, now she's, now you can see she has a 600 weapon level and a 603 armor level, and basically if you got those armor kits, then everything would be 615, and that would just be her base item level. Uh, so now that we can do that, uh, what can we qualify for and what can't we qualify for? Uh, we can do quite a bit now. The only downside is, is that we actually have a lot of failure rate here, so I want to be kind of careful. First of all, let's go ahead and do... We can't do all of it, because obviously it's still a little... Uh, people are still a little low level-wise. But we can actually get an 82% chance. So at that point, we have an 82% chance to, to succeed. And if we don't, there's still at least a base experience. So harboring ill will. The Iron Horde is running a critical uh, running critical supply missions from the beach from the beach of Iron Fist Harbor. Three of our best should disrupt their operations. So we're gonna send out Tulani, Penny, and Kimsey. Kimsey's 98, but she's still got that time battle that might be able to, to give us an advantage. Uh, now, as you can see, now we have now we start to have some problems because these are 100 missions and we don't have everybody at 100 yet. Uh, so the next one we're gonna do is Steel Test Lives. Let's just go ahead and get some guaranteed XP out there. And we're gonna send Benjamin, Kala, and Bluke. Uh, let's see, Stalactite Appetite, that's another guarantee, actually, oh, hold on, we've got two guarantees right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, Primal Savages. Saberon continue to be a menace to our outpost in Gorgoron, let's show them why this world isn't made, named Saberonia. <laughs> let's send Ishal and Olin. I find it funny, Olin is our first follower and he's he isn't 100 yet. That's just because we haven't been able to send him out on too many experience worthy missions. Uh, let's see, 62, 62. This is where it gets difficult. Uh, so 100%, let's send out Olna just to get some extra garrison resources. Many headed menace, habitat changes in Gorgoron have forced Hydras to encroach upon Draenei settlements. It is a pity, but we must kill these desperate beasts. Okay, so, and also she gets the, uh, the resource buff, so we'll get an extra amount for that. Uh, Selectite Appetite will send out Vivian and Mulverick to take care of it. Siobhan Sightings will send out, uh, let's see, well, we, we could technically do that. So Zyriac will send out him, and there you go. Now, before we start getting questing done, I actually do want to showcase one other thing within the garrison. So, because uh, now that we're, we're having to build up followers, we're just going to go ahead and really quick use our garrison hearthstone, and then we'll magic cut to fly back to Negrand. Uh, so back to the garrison we go. 
in case you guys haven't seen a lot of the changes that I've made in the garrison since then. We have a lot of buildings leveled up to three, so there's my level three barracks, there's my level three war mill, there's a level three salvage yard, so that's actually really helpful, and while we were... Now here's the cool part, I have a level three salvage yard, and when you get missions completed, you now get sacks of salvage, salvaged goods, or all the way up to full-on crates of salvaged goods. And all you have to do is just go into the salvage yard and use them. Boom. And that gave us some extra garrison resources to work with. That's awesome. Uh, I want to make sure that we don't miss anything, because these crates can take up a lot of your inventory space. Or at least they used to. I think they've done some fixes since then. But here's what I wanted to show off. So another way to be able to get these armor upgrades, aside from missions and from salvage, is also to come into the war mill. And then, uh, who is it? Uh, is it Magrish? Yeah. Greedy. So you talk to Magrish, and she requires 20 garrison resources per. So for right now, uh, I'm not going to do too many, but I want to try and do 10. At the very... Oh, that actually didn't do as much as I thought it was going to, so let's do another 10. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and average it out. So... During this, you have a chance to be able to get additional armor upgrades. Now, usually it's just the weapon or the armor upgrades, but you also do have a chance, a slim chance, to be able to get uh, item gear, uh, item level sets. And that's really what we want, because then at that point, we can actually get some higher yield uh, quests out of it. And there used to be a person that could sell them in here, but I don't think they exist or no oh, contract maybe peace friend uh no you can't so these are actually other uh followers you can get friends. so if you're looking to get follower achievements that's the way to do it i don't know where i, I know where it is on the alliance side i don't know who it is on oh local supplies could that be it there we go so for 500 gold you can actually upgrade somebody uh, to, with Dranic Armor, which would basically give 645 Armor default and 645 Weapon default. So that would be 645, period. And just to show kind of as an example, we'll go ahead and do this. Right as one. So, we already upgraded Tulani. I'm not necessarily going to do that. Besides, she's not the highest 100 that we have. But we do have Phylark. <laughs> yeah. You know, I could upgrade him, but I'm kind of hes hesitant about doing that. Let's go ahead and do it just for the heck of it, Cast the Shrieker. So, Dranic Weaponry, boom. She's all the way up to 645 Weapon, and she's now item level 622. Okay, Dranic Armor set. Now she's solid 645. My item level is higher than yours. <laughs> uh, so now, she qualifies for a whole lot more in the 100 missions, and she's now going to be a valuable asset. I'm not going to get any more just right off the bat because a lot of the garrison costs have been, well, hurtful on my wallet. But that's kind of an example, and, and we will beef up the garrison followers as much as we possibly can just to get them out on those missions. But first of all, let's go ahead and do a quick magic cut while we fly back uh, to Oshugun itself and start questing. Okay, here we are back in Oshugun, so you can see it off in the distance. Uh, remember, we actually got a bunch of quests that deal with the War Song, experimenting with the power of the Void. So that's actually where we're, where we're going to start, in the various settlements that they have. First of all, with Kaga. So we're supposed to take out some shamans, but also destroy these totems. These totems are the thing, are one of the ways they're channeling the Void into it. There we go. Ah, oh, jeez, and I'm still at a point where, uh, if I'm moving a little stiff, I apologize. I actually was at the gym yesterday, and, oh, I unfortunately had to miss training in the gym for a couple of weeks, and now I'm, like, thoroughly worked. I'm thoroughly hurting at the end of it, so people couldn't call me a wuss if they want to, but, oh, it hurts. <coughs> I'm just sore in most of my back and arms. I just know I'm gonna get a comment like that. Holy, holy crap, man. Can, do you even lift, bro? Yeah, yeah, I lift. I lift pretty good, too. Um, considering. I'm not Mr. Burns, guys. I, I, I don't have that level of problems. But, after a workout, you're sore. That's the funniest thing about that, huh? Okay, we've taken care of the Kaga totems. Let's go ahead and take care of the Gra totems. Boom. 
And actually, we just barely passed the hut of the main shaman that we need to take out. So we will double back to him. That's kind of a last thing to do. Here we go. This is going to take us to the last encampment. Trying to avoid as many shop. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Quest. There's a quest in here. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, there it is. Ah, screw you guys. Okay, so now we have a new quest. The Warsong Threat. The attack plans are scrawled onto the parchment in thick black ink and bound in rough leather. To all Outrider stations, the Warlord has commanded that all Outriders prepare for a full assault upon the Horde invaders in our land. Plans for the attack have been delivered to several of the remote Outrider outposts. Blood and glory shall be ours as we trample the Horde invaders beneath our feet. The Warlord commands and the Warsong obey. Loktar Ogar. Okay, so we need to get the Warsong... Command Brief, the Mixed Unit Tactics, the Warsong Outrider Reports, and the Grand Scouting Report. So we'll keep on the lookout for those as well. I'm not worried about those right off the bat. I just want to get the uh, totems taken care of. Because after that, uh, we might actually have to step into the world of the void. There we go. So, boom. There we are. Okay, so that's all of the totems. Uh, that's all of the shamans. And just for the heck of it, we're going to take out the ritualist, too. Uh, so, ritualist, ritualist Kul... Is it Kulroth? Yeah. And I'm also really happy, too. We, we have three chapters left in Agron. We are almost done. And basically the way that that's going to go is uh, a lot of people are asking, like, when is the garrison campaign going to happen? It's actually going to get relegated over to Dungeons and Drakfus. So you're going to get it there because uh, Dungeons and Drakfus has become not only a place to do dungeons and raids, but also additional lore content. So that's going to be a really great way to do it. And here is the hut of Ritualist Kolrath. You don't care about your followers because then we can do this. Summon up Schwen. Help me out. And I think I saw one of the things I needed was in here, too. Was it? Or was it not? Yeah, it's, it's in the hut. There we go. Um. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. So here is the Negron scouting report. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and turn all of these in with the uh, Shaman Stone of Calandrios and see what else he needs from us. Because trust me, we're going to be going for a while on a lot of this. Ooh, but speaking of, let's go ahead and grab the one in here. So this is the Warsong Outriders orders. And let's go ahead and hit the Shaman Stone. Calandrios! So, disrupt the rituals. Dark shamanism is a dangerous practice, Drakfu. It is true that the Void can be a source of terrible power, but it is the kind of power that comes at a price. These woods are safer now that you have put an end to the rituals. Okay, silence the call. The gift of shamanism is not one to be taken lightly. When the gift is abused, the elements will rise up in indignation and smite the shaman. There we go, so through the nether. The rituals have been disrupted, yet the nether beacons still glow with power. This can only mean that the beacons are powered from the twisting nether within the twisting nether itself. The connection to the void must be severed. There is but one way to accomplish this. You must slay the void creature that maintains the connection with our world. Lay your hands upon a beacon and travel into the twisting nether. When you have arrived on the other side, locate a shaman stone and use it to contact me. Okay, so basically all you have to do with this is find a void beacon. Which we passed one on the way in. So those are those are the void beacons, or the nether beacons. And all you gotta do is use it. And this takes you into the world of the twisting nether, or the world of the void. Uh, in here, though... 
Oh, I can't even remember what we do. It's not like we can do a twisting nether. Oh, there we go. We j this wasn't a shaman stone, so all we gotta do is come back and talk to the shaman stone. While we get attacked by void tentacles, that's not good. So let's go ahead and turn this in. The shaman stone appears to be working, even from within the twisting nether. There is much that needs to be done, Drakfu. The monsters of the void are gathering upon Oshugun and must be stopped, else they invade our realm. Okay, so we have two new quests from Calendrios. The Nether approaches. By connecting with the Twisting Nether, the Warsong Shaman have created a ripple effect that they could not have anticipated. Look around and you will see countless portals beginning to open, signs that the Twisting Nether seeks to connect to Draenor. Should these portals successfully open, the path will be clear for all manner of demons and void creatures to rampage across this valley. All right, so. Close the portals, got it. Void March. Hidden behind the veil of the Twisting Nether, the abominations of the Void march upon Oshugun. The great void growing deep within the mountain has gr drawn them like moths to a flame. Wave upon wave, the creatures of the Void march upon the mountain and sacrifice themselves to Invalidus. The Void Lord Invalidus cannot be allowed to feast upon the other voiced creatures, else it will become too powerful to stop. So you need to slay 10 Void Terrors and 15 Void Tendrils. So the Tendrils are these big Void Walker dudes. And while you're in the Nether, you actually will constantly hear from Invalidus. He is a Void Lord. And his goal is to basically, well, eat the other void creatures to gain their power. It's like that old joke that you've seen in Futurama. You must eat their hearts to gain their courage. Yeah, it's kind of that thing. Except, you know, more voidy. There we go. So this is actually the best way to be able to get the tendrils and close portals along the way. We'll take care of this void terror in the middle of nowhere. So once again, happy Friday, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good weekend, so or a good week so far, starting the weekend. Me, I'm actually kind of stoked because, uh, as a quick reminder, next week will be a podcast week, which is just kind of an editing week for me. Plus, it is Thanksgiving, so it's going to be basically uh, no Tale of Drakfu. So, quick reminder on a podcast week. No Tale of Drakfu or Dungeons & Drakfus will happen. Uh, Diablo is up in the air. If I can make it work, then I will make it work. Because I have done it in the past, I will try and do so if I can make it work. But it just depends on how much time that I have. And basically, I take those weeks to edit podcasts, uh, get things done for the podcasts, as well as uh, any other additional upgrades, uh, maintenance that needs to be done. And also, since it's Thanksgiving, uh, you know, celebrate with family and friends. And also, quick reminder, so there will be a podcast tonight but uh, not for next Friday. Next Friday is Black Friday. And if you haven't, if you're brand spanking new to the podcast, unfortunately, uh, one of our panelists, Alex in particular, has to work retail, which means Black Friday is absolute horror to him. And on top of that, we're spending time with family and friends. So we just kind of take fr Black Friday off and uh, hope that, we, we all hope that Alex survives this Black Friday he has the last couple of years. We're going to keep hoping that he survives this Black Friday and in turn can make the podcast the following week. There we are. Oh, I already hit my uh, photo for the Void Tendrils. I don't know why I'm trying so hard then. Oh no, these Void Terrors, they're making their way to Invalidus. We have to stop them. There we go. And finally, uh, we need we need one more portal and we need three more Void Terrors. So yeah, I'm kind of excited because again, it's, it's also gonna be, it's gonna be a work week, but not as bad a work week. And I can start getting some of the uh, issues that I've been seeing on the podcast taken care of, including new mics. And in case you guys hadn't actually heard the news on Dragon Shadow, and this is going to affect this channel too, we are changing setups. So I'm also working on that. And that's taken quite a bit of time. Okay, that is both the quests. So let's go ahead and turn these in with Calandrios.
yeah, we're actually going to be changing setups. Now, for, for stuff like this, the setup really isn't going to change. Uh, what I'm looking forward to is that when we're playing a console game, we can actually play, you know, on the couch. Yeah, fun fact, uh, when we've done Dracon Shadow or when me and Andre do Tomb Raider or um, Last of Us, stuff like that, it's been, like, in front of the computer. Now we're actually going to try and do, like, a setup where we can be at the couch and we can, you know, relax a little bit because that's what we want to do. I'm not saying this office chair isn't comfy. It's occasionally comfy, but there are still some issues sitting here for hours at a time. All right, so let's go and turn in the nether approaches. If those portals were to fully expand and open, the path would have been clear from the ho for the horrors of the Twisting Nether to march upon Nagrand. The War Song had been careless in their mad pursuit of power and glory. Void March. The Void Lord must be stopped. Thanks to your efforts, the tide of Void creatures has waned. But if we are to defeat Invalidus, we must act swiftly. Shadow of the Void. The moment has come to take on the Void Lord. Invalidus grows more powerful by the minute, so you must move with haste if you are to defeat the monster. At each of the Warsong ritual locations, there is a Void Crystal. These crystals are used to channel the energy of the Void from within the Twisting Nether. Disturb the crystal, and Invalidus will sense your presence below. Be ready. As soon as the, crystal's, uh, as soon as the crystal is disturbed, Invalidus will waste no time hunting you down. Okay, so you basically just need to go to a Warsong settlement and channel their Void Crystals. So we actually were near one that had one. Not too far off, too. Uh, here we go. So it's this Void Crystal right here. Boom. So you summon that and you summon Invalidus! I will rend the mortal flesh from your bones and feast upon your soul. I'm sure you will, buddy. And by that I mean I don't think you will be doing anything of the sort. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this in with Calandrios, and I think that's going to take us out of the Twisting Nether. Wee, Or as I like to call it, the realm, of, the realm of the Void, because all we're seeing really is Void creatures. And within the Twisting Nether, you would also see things like demons. Or at least the spirit form of demons. Calandrios, we did it! With Invalidus destroyed and the Warsong rituals halted, the threat of the Twisting Nether has subsided. There you go, the Shadow of the Void. So now we have two more chapters to complete within Nagrand. And the next one we're actually going to do is the taking of Lokroth, because we do have a quest for that to go meet up with Durotan. But first, let's go ahead and complete this quest too. Or at least a couple of quests in this area. So first of all, we're going to grab the Warsong Command Brief and the Mixed Unit Tactics. And then we're actually also going to go grab Talbuck, because we had him, oh, we've had his quest for a while now. And now that we have Nivex Overlook, we can complete it. Okie dokie. I don't even know where this is taking me. I really don't. Oh, okay, there is a hut right over there. I'm gonna be mad if this actually takes me in the opposite direction a great distance. Well, why didn't I just take care of that one? Oh, and this one has a rare in it, too. Well, that's encouraging. So that's the Warsong Command Brief. And we got Call of the Wolf Mother, which is a haste trinket. Is it better than what I have? Uh, kind of. We'll go ahead and put on Call of the Wolf Mother. Where is it? There it is. We'll just go ahead and put that on with our 598 trinket. Adding more haste onto things. And where is my final one? Oh, actually, it's not too far off. That's awesome. And if people haven't already noticed, I actually did uh, comb through my mounts a little bit. So there are going to be certain mounts that you've seen way too much of that are not going to show up anymore. It's just simply because I wanted to get more mount diversity in my random mounts. There we go. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Mr. Warlock, because now I have mixed unit tactics. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and hunt down Talbuk, and then we will head back to uh, Warvar to head out to Lokroth. 
So Tallbuck isn't too far off. But we got to get back to where um, the Ritualist was. There we go. Oh, and I actually should probably answer the remaining. Uh, so I did get a few more BlizzCon questions that people wanted to, to have my take on. Uh, so the first thing I want to answer is the StarCraft stuff. So yes, I actually didn't mention it. I, I put a note in the video that yes, I forgot to mention that a big announcement for StarCraft 2 was StarCraft 2 went free to play. That's cool. It should have happened a year ago. It really should have, and I don't know why, On in all honesty, Legacy of the Void is out there, and it's been out there for a couple of years. They don't need to to keep that uh, still a 60 buck price. Um, if you're gonna, if you're gonna put, because the way that they're making it work is, you get Wings of Liberty free, and if you had Wings of Liberty already, you get Heart of the Swarm free. Okay, well, what if you had both of those? Do you get Legacy of the Void free? The way that I have understood it, no, you don't. So at that point, it really should just be all three are free at this point. Um, if you know, because if you're going to go free to play, then then just do that. And uh, the other thing too that I didn't mention or that I, uh, I guess I was unclear on. And here's Talbuck, by the way. Um, is the fact that uh, this this was an interesting question. I w I said I wanted more single player stuff, but you, uh, this person brought up that I did boohoo on Nova Covert Ops, and that was like your, their first attempt, and it wasn't well received. I agree. Uh, so I, I guess the answer is yes. I would like more stuff in that vein. I don't I don't f entirely fault Blizzard for Nova Covert Ops. I think it was a bad first attempt, but any first attempt would have been at least a little rocky. That's why I'm encouraging the like let's let's do it again. Let's let's see if we can fix the problem. And then at that point maybe maybe you know, unfortunately Nova got the shaft, but you could bring her back and do more story with her. Let's do something with with another character that people want to see more on. And look at Nova Covert Ops and see how you can improve the formula. And if you can't improve the formula, improve it. That's all I'm asking. Like I I I completely agree with my it's statements. Nothing away. has changed. Nova Covert Ops was still pretty bad, but it was also a first attempt, so it wasn't like I had high ex expectations for that. My expectations got finished in, in Legacy of the Void. So at that point, I would very much like for them to try again and learn from the mistakes that they made with Nova Covert Ops. Maybe even, you know, put four to five missions in these packs and do 15 mission packs uh, as long as you can make the lore work. That was my only issue with it. Or if you want to do three missions, then just make it, you know, a, a nine mission pack and make the story work consistently throughout all of them. That was kind of my problem with, with hey, Nova is they didn't really do that. Uh, chapter one felt like it should have been longer. Chapter two felt like it should have been a little shorter. It, it was a little bit of an issue. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a, uh, I, I think that's pretty much an answer for you guys. Let's go ahead and fly back to Warvar with a quick magic cut. Okay, we're back at Warvar, so let's go ahead and turn in King of the Bree Striders with Ogka. You dispute my honor. How goes the hunt for Talbuck? Ah, uh, we killed him. What done, Drakfu? You succeeded where I did not. Perhaps you outsiders aren't such bad hunters after all. All right, so we get a 587 I pair of legs. Not necessarily an upgrade. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and head into the taking of Lokrath. Now, people might notice we have the, we still have the Warsong threat. Um, I, actually, we're going to make our way over to the Riverside Post to be able to not only turn that in, but also do the Lokrath quest line. So all we're going to do is follow the path here and head in to take care of that. Oh, more timber. Ah, uh, I, I must avoid the temptations. I must stay on focus. Uh, I want to get done with the grind. So that we can move into Legion content. Because frickin' battle, battle for Azeroth could come at any time. Um, so, uh, let's see. The next question that we had was... Um, Diablo 3. Yeah, I, I remember this one. Diablo 3. What were... So, I, I did mention that I, I felt like it was a wrong idea to not have at least some information on Diablo 3. And, in fact, Destiny 2 as well. Um, to which I got kind of a mixed response from people. Some people didn't like the fact that I added Destiny 2 in there. Some people asked this question. What do you expect that they would have added for Diablo 3? And to be perfectly honest, I had no expectation. Uh, I knew that we were probably going to get more Necromancer information, and that's fine. Uh, 
what I'm saying is, is that even if it was a minute thing, if they're working on a new area, or if they're working on a new season, which season 12 just barely aired, um, if you're working on a new season, if you're working on a, maybe a prototype new class, or you're looking into doing, doing more than one class, then show that to us. That's really all I was, I was trying to say on that matter. I don't care where you are in the development process. For crying out loud, I'm a Warcraft player. I've literally seen expansions unveiled where so much is still left undone. I don't care. All I want is that, that prototype image to be able to get excited to, uh, towards. We're going to pass through Lowcraft to, to get to Riverside Post, but here is the Warsong Outpost of Lowcraft. We'll be doing a lot of questing here. As you can see, it's a contested area. So we have some horde warriors, but we also do have some war song out here as well. Okay, so we'll go past this bridge. But for the most part, it looks like we've taken it over. Over here. I don't actually know where this Riverside Post is. I know where the Alliance Post is, but... Oh, here we go, Riverside Post. So, yay! Let's go ahead and grab the flight path so we never have to do that again. And let's go ahead and talk to Bloodguard Ahen. Ahens? Ahens. I, I have no... Ians? I don't know. War song throughout. What do you have for me? Uh, these. Bloodguard Ahen. Ahens, I guess is how you might say it. Ahens looks over the attack plans. Hmm, I see. You have done well to retrieve these attack plans. With the plans in our hands, we will be more than prepared to counter the assault when it comes. We will have justice. I'm sure you will. Oh, and also we do have Mancrick. So, people might remember Mancrick from original World of Warcraft. This is Mancrick as a boy. And you can get a quest from him. Lost in the ground. Hey, mister, could you help me? There's the girl, this girl I know. Her name is Olgra. Her and her parents went back to Warvar yesterday. Only they never got there, and no one's seen them. If you're heading back out, would you look for her? She's kind of my girlfriend. Oh. And later on, we'll be searching for her corpse. <sighs> That's the way things go. Uh, here is Duratan, so let's go. Oh, and he's actually talking to Cadgar. Welcome, friend of the Frostwolves. It's good to see you, Commander. When I'd heard about your garrison caravan being destroyed, well, let's just say that I feared the worst. What word from Warvar? Make us yep. proud. Terms of surrender. I have good news, Commander. We've already taken Lokroth. The War Chief grins. The Horde soldiers have captured most of the Warsong, including their leader, Uruk Folkleaver. I save the honor of accepting his surrender for you. They're waiting for you inside, Commander. Watch yourself, okay. Commander. Despite our victory, the Warsong are never to be underestimated. Nope. Never. Okay, so, first of all, Mancrick's wife, where do we actually... We are, I'm sorry, Mancrick's girlfriend. And it's actually way up there. I actually want to do this one really quick, so so oh, indulge me for a second. Ring of Trials, let's go ahead and fly back with a quick magic cut. Okay, we just barely got back to the Ring of Trials, so let me go ahead and get back on the road, and we will find Mancrick's girlfriend, Algra. Here's hoping it's not a corpse we find. That would be really creepy. Let's see. So I, I hope that answered the uh, Diablo three question for you. It's just I, I don't I don't care about how far along in development it is. I've dealt with a lot of early development stuff from multiple uh, game companies. It's just something. It's something to get excited about. Something to talk about at that point. Uh, and the next question that was for me, like, what was the most exciting uh, aspect of BlizzCon for you, and how would you rate this year's BlizzCon compared to others? I would actually say that this is kind of a meh BlizzCon. It was kind of in the middle. It had some good stuff, but it also was pretty un undelivering in others. Uh, again, I was, I'm was i still flabbergasted at the fact we didn't really get uh, Diablo or Destiny 2 information, as well as we didn't really get anything, or Diablo and StarCraft 2 news, and then Destiny 2, which is the newest member of the family and probably one of the more popular games on that list. It got nothing. <laughs> And that, that seems weird. Oh, hi, Algra. Skytooth, my mama and papa. The little girl continues to cry over the corpses of her family. Oh my gosh, really? Really? <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. Consumed by vengeance. They, they came out of nowhere from that direction. The young girl points vaguely west through her tears. 
They were on their nasty wolves. Please, Commando, my family's honor is at stake. Will you get vengeance for me? Kill Wargskin the Savage. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, I was really hoping not to find any corpses. And I not only found one, I found two! <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well, we're gonna take care of Warkskin the Savage for her. Hey, Warsong Marauders. Hey, you Warkskin! Screw you, buddy! There we go. We took care of your vengeance. And w I guess we turned these in. Yeah, we, we just turned it in at uh, Riverside Post. So let's just go ahead and make our way all the way back to Lowcroft since we're, you know, halfway there anyway. Uh, that That's that's kind of my viewpoint on BlizzCon. I, I thought it was, uh, it was halfway there. Uh, I thought it was a meh BlizzCon. Uh, again, I would have loved to have had announcements all around. The best announcement probably for me was, again, Hearthstone. Uh, as much as I do love the Blizzard World announcement for Overwatch, uh, single-player Hearthstone is something that I've been wanting for a while now, and the fact that they finally added it is great, as far as I'm concerned. So, that was probably the most exciting announcement for me. Although I am, I am warming up to the Battle for Azeroth, so... It's not as bad. This is... This is the funniest part about Battle for Azeroth for me. It's Warlords of Draenor all over again. Uh, I wasn't as excited for Warlords, and that's kind of where I stood with Battle, and uh, now I'm just kind of warming up to the idea. I'm not entirely bought on it. I really want more Old God stuff, and I'm still worried it's going to be very Alliance versus Horde, but we'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm at least going to wait and see, and, and maybe we'll get more information along the line. I don't think anytime soon, though, because I don't even think the, the beta's uh, really that close to being ready. Okay, so here is Uruk. Oh, good, it's you, Commander. This thing, this thing is ready for you. Okay, so terms of surrender. Commander Drakfu. Uruk Foe Cleaver looks at you and grins. Terms of surrender? Hmm, let me think. Pride of Lokrath. You think the war song are so easily defeated? There's a rasping sound like rope on metal. I'm already tired of you, Horde, and you've just invaded my homeland. The sound becomes more pronounced as Uruk Folk Lever looks you straight in the eye. There will be no surrender. The war song bow to no one. Okay, so he's freed himself. That's not good. You've fallen right into my trap, Commander. War song, attack! Hi there, buddy. You were supposed to watch him a little bit more. All hell's broken loose out there. Okay, so silence the war machines. The Iron Horde supplied Lokrath with war machines from Iron Fist Harbor. It won't take long for them to level Riverside Post. Someone has to silence those war machines. Okay, we'll take care of that. If they won't surrender, this isn't the backbone of the army we intend to send against Garrosh Hellscream and Gromashar. If they won't surrender, we have no choice but to eliminate the war song. I agree completely. Okay, so basically now we have to take care of a bunch of Lowcraft forces, as well as their war machines, so their big Iron Horde cannons. So there we go. Let's go ahead and start there. And actually, you can get an additional quest in this area. Crap, I got stuck on a tree. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Oh, you're a wolf master, huh? Well, I have wolves. Okay, so Fallen Horde Soldier. Terror of Nagrand. The body of a fallen soldier lies here. Blood and gore trail from trail back from the corpse to the entrance of the cave just to the north. Judging by the howls and the carnage surrounding the den, something truly terrifying must be in there. And we're gonna go in and fight it! So you basically just have to come into the cave and take out the big nasty wolf in here named Shagor, or Shagor. Face of fury, buddy! There we go, so now we have Shagor's Collar. Would that be a Scooby-Doo reference? I'm not sure. I'm gonna look that up after after this. That would be funny if it was. Shagor kinda sounds like Shaggy. So, okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and kill off all of these forces. Wee-boo! 
and that pretty much wrapped up all of the uh, the questions that I did have. I didn't really get any Overwatch ones, um, and I think part of that is just because there's already been in-depth character analysis for Moira on YouTube and other places. So, there you go. That is my opinions on BlizzCon 2017, and now I can lay it to rest, so to speak. Oh, by the way, we also do have an additional one. We need to kill Uruk Full Cleaver. Which, we're actually really close to killing him, so... But first of all, let's take care of this cannon. Boom! And here's Uruk. Hi, buddy! Screw you! I'm going full bore on you! I didn't like your words last time! The war song will never surrender! This is a good death. I hope you enjoyed it, because it's all you get. I was gonna be nice with you, I was gonna play with my- Give you some of my toys, not all of them, but I was gonna give you some of, my, some of them. Oh my gosh. Wow, we just had ranty drag fruit. That's- We haven't really had that. I don't know how to feel about that, I, I, I feel a little dirty. I'm not gonna lie. Ranty drag fruit. There we go, so that's all of them. Let's go ahead and turn them all in at Riverside Post, obviously. I think that's really all that we need to do to get the chapter, but um, I don't want to say that right off the bat. Then I'll be wrong, and, and you guys will let me know, and that will suck. Okay, here is Riverside Post. Let's go ahead and turn all of this in. First of all, with Little Man Crick, but it's good because Algor got back. Thank you, Commander. You really are the greatest monk like everyone says. I right, thank you! Okay, then we have the Maladash, blood guard. Malanori. As if all we had to deal with in Nagran were the war song and highball. There's a whole world of pain on the other side of that river. So, silence the war machines. Thank you, Commander. I thought we were done for sure. Remember the okay. Sunwell. They won't surrender. Regrettable, but I understand the pride of the war song. I would never surrender. Okay, so, oh, excuse me. Uh, 602 the bracers, that's actually, ooh, that rare upgrade. So 622 bracers, actually. The Terror of Negron. Commander, how may I help you? I got this collar. That's the beast's collar. I hear it, it's howls all the way over here. Death to all who There you go, us. now you have this big old collar. Right there. And finally, we have one for Duratan. All I need is a wolf at my side and a fellow warrior at my back. Unfortunate, but you made it out of the trap alive and Lokroth is dealt with. Inventory is full. Oh, my bad. Inventory range! I Item cap day. range! There we go. And yeah, let's turn this in again. Blood runs thick. Oh, that's actually an upgrade. Boom, and that gives us the taking of Lokroth. Lokroth is secured. With their leader dead, the remaining war song will be easy pickings. As soon as that's done, I'll pull our soldiers out of Lokroth and head for Gromashar. If you're heading back to Warvar, inform Thrall that we'll be ready soon. Stace, I'll see you at the okay. gates of Gromashar. I will see you there too, buddy. So, let's go ahead and quick magic cut while we fly back to Warvar. Okay, we just got back to Warvar. Let's go ahead and inform Thrall Lokal of the situation. Gar, if you hadn't have gone to Lokroth, our forces would have been decimated. I'm sorry to hear they laid a trap for you. You have a reputation now. And justice for Thrall. <laughs> the time has come, Commander. You've dealt with all of the Warsong's allies and holdings. Our troops are massing at the gates of Gromashar. The Shadow Hunters have reliable intel that Garrosh is holed up inside the Warsong vault fortress. All of our efforts have led to this moment. Let's put an end to this once and for all. For the all right, and unfortunately, because we're really close to break time, we're gonna go ahead and call it here. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to finish up Nagran before Thanksgiving, but when we come back after Thanksgiving, we will finish up the story in Nagran and take care of the warlord Garrosh Hellscream. We'll see you guys then.